Hey, welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to try a whole bunch of different uh, cam angles um, on the Honda K24 engine and see the difference in power. Um, I've done similar videos using different air fuel ratios and different ignition timing. So this is just kind of part of that whole uh, series. Um, so if that's something that you like seeing, consider subscribing. It would be uh, appreciated. Um, so basically, um, this is using Honda K Pro for management and uh, the tables are broken up basically every 10 degrees. Um, so we're gonna start at 50 degrees um, and go 10 degree increments all the way down to zero and uh, see what kind of power difference it makes. So let's get started. All right, so basically um, this has already been uh, set up. So basically just doing this video for the sake of doing the video. Um, so the timing and the fueling is all um, where it needs to be. Um, it's not going to be changed. So all we're going to do is move the cam angle, uh, make a handful of runs and see the difference. So like I said, we're going to start off at 50 degrees. I guess it's also worth noting that all of the cam gear changes are just going to be made uh, once it goes into VTEC and I believe the VTEC engagement points 4500 RPM. Usually when you're doing this stuff, uh, you're also playing with the timing and the fueling and kind of tuning and doing all of it at the same time. Um, this might even be the first time that I've personally moved just the cam gear to see what it does. So here's our base at 50 degrees and now let's try 40. Here's 40 degrees. And you see as we bring the cam angle down, it will increase horsepower up here, um, which is almost sort of backwards way of thinking about it. Um, because basically we're getting closer at higher RPM as if we just had like a standard cam gear and we're using the cam gear to bring power in sooner down here. Um, and if you're not familiar with the Honda stuff, we're just moving the intake cam, um, not the exhaust. The exhaust is fixed. Uh, so that's 50 and 40. Let's try 30. Okay, so at 30 degrees, uh, we're still picking up up top and uh, we're kind of starting to drop off down here at the bottom and here it is on the bigger screen the yellow is at 30 degrees all right this run's going to be 20 degrees and uh, i'm doing these runs pretty much back to back so there's a little bit of a, uh, a heat soak factor going on too um so uh, let's try 20 and then uh, 10 degrees and 0 degrees on this particular car don't seem to do much. Um, it can be a little bit hit or miss. Certain cars uh, I've seen make peak power at 0. Um, I've seen some cars make peak power at 40. So uh, you kind of have to go through the whole process um, to see what the car likes. Um, but some cars have some pretty significant gains. It's kind of cool to see. So let's see what 20 will do. So we're really starting to lose down here in the mid-range and it's a little bit better up top but nothing too exciting. 
And then again here on the big graph, you can see the big drop in the mid-range and just a little bit up top. Um, so that was 20 degrees. We'll try 10. Um, see where we're at. So 10 degrees, uh, basically continue to lose more in the mid-range and uh, best case I guess it's sort of even up top. Right, so I'd go ahead and say that 10 degrees is down everywhere. Right at the very peak they sort of touch but I don't know, that doesn't really count for anything. All right, zero degrees isn't going to do anything if 10 didn't, So, uh, but we'll do it anyways just to see the whole spectrum and then uh, we'll kind of piece a map together of the best points of all of them and see what that looks like. Um, so here is zero degrees. Damn it. So as you can see, zero degrees is pretty unhappy uh, pretty much everywhere. So that's not doing anybody any good. All right, here for the last run, we'll do a composite map and uh, sort of piece all of the graphs together. Um, let me show you what I mean. All right, so basically we're gonna take um, our different RPM points here, different ranges. So like from here from 5,200 to 6,000, uh, you can see that the blue line here is um, the highest. Um, and then from 6,000 uh, to about 7,300, the yellow line is the highest. Um, and then above uh, 7,300 all the way out, um, this green line is ahead. Um, and then each one of the, the graphs up here is labeled for what cam degree it is. Um, so now we'll basically enter these numbers into the map and make a run like this. So you can see how just smooth and happy everything looks in comparison. So the difference between zero degrees and um, our composite map here, 5400 RPM, it looks like we're 30 something horsepower. Um, so that's pretty significant. And then up here at higher RPM, um, still got uh, 15, 17 horsepower, something like that. Um, so all in all it's pretty cool to play with cool to work with um, but it does to do it correctly it does increase the the time you'll spend tuning by uh, five ten times longer um, to really go through and do it correctly uh, for each at least with the k-pro software um, each different cam angle has its own fuel table and ignition table so there's a lot of going back and forth but uh, you can see from this that uh, it's well worth it and if you're curious about the car, it's a Miata road race car, um, K24. It's a pretty cool car. Um, it's so small and so light, even at these power levels, this thing's going to be a blast to drive. All right, that wraps up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if there's any other type of test that you'd like to see, just uh, comment below, let me know. Um, all of the stuff I would like to do versus the stuff I have time for are a little bit different. And um, it seems the stuff that I find interesting, a lot of other people find boring. So uh, just let me know what you want to see and uh, we can make it happen. I've um, been having a lot of fun doing these videos, so I plan to keep doing it. So um, if you haven't yet, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.